And new at five, Public Works confirms roads, bridges, and other high-level structures are being pre-treated in unincorporated areas of Bear County. They're starting at noon on Sunday. They will pre-treat or de-ice those areas Monday as needed. And let's take a look at some video. You can hear it there. We had a windy start to the day. This is video we shot while our crews were out. Wind gusts reaching 50 miles an hour. Winds have eased up since this morning, but this is only the beginning of the chilly weather we will be expecting to see. This comes as ERCOT updated its weather watch to include a Sunday. We're told that weather watch will end on Wednesday. So Joe, how cold is it going to get since that watch expanded? Well, today was kind of a, a pre cold front, right? Mm -hmm. We had a little bit cooler than yesterday. No 70s and the wind really blew this morning back and off now, but it's the Arctic cold front that is still up to the north right now and it is heading in our direction. Take a look at these temperatures minus 17. That's not the wind chill. That's the actual air temperature right now in Billings, Montana, minus eight in Bismarck. It's not going to get that cold here in South Texas, but that's the air that is moving towards us and it is moving ahead of schedule as well. So by Sunday, we're going to be in that ice box with those cold temperatures. So tomorrow we're going to start off near freezing in the morning, but tomorrow is going to be our last mild day. We're in the 60s for the afternoon around 66 San Antonio. We'll push the low 70s down to the south. The Arctic air starts to move in overnight tomorrow into early Sunday. So here's midnight Sunday morning. Already seeing those temperatures fall into the 30s in the hill country. And then we'll stay in the 30s throughout the day on Sunday. That is that first taste of that Arctic air. And then it gets even colder as we head towards Monday. And here's Tuesday morning waking up to the teens. Wind chills will be in the single digits. We also have a chance of some freezing rain and ice to impact our Monday morning commute. We'll break that all down coming up in a few minutes. Sounds good. See you soon, Joe. The Arctic Blast is our top story, and we are continuing to follow how the city and the state are preparing for the hard freeze coming in late this weekend. We are all wondering if the grid will hold up. News for San Antonio's Maritza Mendoza went and got answers today, and here's what she found out. While the temperature may read that it's 57 degrees, sunny and clear, it's definitely much cooler. Thanks to the wind, it feels more like it's in the 40s. An Arctic blast is bringing plunging temperatures to the Alamo City in the next few days. Today, got some answers from CPS energy officials. They say they've weatherized their facilities and crews are on standby. Last month, president and CEO of CPS, Rudy Garza, was confident CPS customers would weather any cold snap. I can uh, reassure uh, the San Antonio community and all our customers that CPS Energy uh, is ready for the winter. We also checked with ERCOT. They tweeted today grid conditions are expected to be normal and said a weather watch is not a call for conservation. We asked ERCOT for an interview today. They didn't speak with us, but last month, ERCOT's president and CEO Pablo Vegas told us they were confident about the grid's reliability. We're looking very good for winter readiness this coming season. A winter season typically ushers in cooler temperatures that's sometimes difficult to manage. We discovered Animal Care Services gets a spike in neglect calls to their office. The number of those neglect calls that come in double and sometimes triple. And so, you know, we're talking thousands of calls that are coming in in a two, three day window. And to maximize their ability to answer as many neglect calls as possible, Director of Animal Care Services Shannon Sims says all hands are on deck and then some. Because of that, we've already uh, early in the week opened up uh, overtime for individuals to start signing up. Uh, so that we can get a maximum presence out there. He adds additional officers will be in place during the Martin Luther King March that takes place Monday to make sure all participants are kept safe from any stray dogs that might be in the area. From the Northwest side, Marisa Mendoza, News 4, San Antonio. And the Salvation Army is helping the city offer relief to homeless individuals and families over the next few days. They will have a mobile feeding truck heading out Sunday through Tuesday, serving soup, hot beverages, and will be offering blankets and other items from 4 to 6 p.m. because they expect their shelters to be at capacity to help ease possible overflow. The Salvation Army will offer 10 additional beds at each location on a first come first serve basis. If those beds are filled, those needing assistance will head to other cold 
weather shelters in the county. Meanwhile, the animal rescue nonprofit San Antonio Pets Alive is looking for fosters to take in animals at the shelter during this upcoming cold snap. Well, starting today, they're hoping to get animals out of the shelter and into homes. They're preparing for possible pipe freezing weather with power outages and cold temperatures at their locations. Fosters are needed until January 21st. And the city of Bernie shared its preparation, saying crews for Bernie utilities have been checking water, gas, and electrical lines, making repairs before the expected increase in demand occurs. Bernie ISD is expected to operate on normal hours next Tuesday. The city of Bernie water fountains will be turned off throughout the weekend. Two warming centers will be up and running next Monday and next Tuesday. One is at the Patrick Health Public Library, the other at Bernie Church of Christ. Both locations will be open from 8 in the morning until 6 p.m. Water, coffee, tea, soup, and snacks will be available along with coats, blankets, socks, scarves, and hand warmers. Hill Country Family Services will work directly with people experiencing homelessness regarding a place to stay overnight.